Today's episode, the lipstick up. <laughs> Some shoes. Carmen San Diego's flock of flamboyant flakes has flim flammed again. This time the crime happened in New Haven, Connecticut. In 1969, New Haven's prestigious Yale University received an unusual gift. A 24 foot high, two ton sculpture called Lipstick Ascending on Caterpillar Tracks. The giant lipstick was the work of famed pop artist Klaus Oldenburg. Some people on campus didn't care for the sculpture and it was removed in less than a year. But then supporters rose to its defense, and in 1974, it was placed in Yale's Morse Courtyard, where it has remained ever since. Until today, that is. When Patty Larceny, posing as an Avon lady, made tracks with a fully tracked lipstick, she plans on using the sculpture to promote her newest enterprise, the School of Criminal Cosmetology. Your mission, gumshoes, put the pinch on Patty. Liberate the lipstick, and then bring Carmen San Diego to justice. The clips on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Rachel Brunfield. Jeff Nikon. Mary Grace Hagen. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Oh, my goodness. Rough day. Hi, Gumshoes. How are you? Great. Good, good. Nice to hear that. Okay, I guess you've heard about the case. We're not going to waste any more time. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest scores at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Patty has stolen the lipstick statue and there's no time to lose. Now here's the rap sheet on Patty. Patty. Patty Larceny. During her last day in the penitentiary, she was voted most likely to be polite. And here's what we know so far. Gum shoes. Acme Puckernet has tracked Patty and the lipstick to the Allagash Wilderness Waterway. 92 miles of pristine wilderness and some of the best white water canoeing in the U.S. There's no electricity, few cars, no phones, and up till now, no crooks. Now... I can still remember my last trip to the Allagash, paddling towards the St. John's River onto the New Brunswick border. I fished for my supper in the sparkling waters by day, and I saw the sparkle of the Perseid meteor shower at night. Oh, and that white water, oh, my canoe crashing through the waves like a wild bucking bronco. Jeez, come on, come on, let's wrap it up. We got a case to do. The water was fierce, invigorating. Challenging, all engulfing. You call that all engulfing? Greg, get back on the case. I have to do a little talking with the Acme Special Effects Department. All engulfing, that means water. What? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We understand. Okay, Gumshoes, name the state, if you will, please. Is it Maine, Vermont? Or New York. Remember the clues that we heard? Allagash Wilderness Waterway, St. John's River, and Borders, New Brunswick. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. On the trail now, Patty and the Lipstick Sculpture. Jeff's ready, so is Mary Grace, and so is Rachel. Rachel, we'll start with you. What do you think? I chose New York. New York. What do you think, Jeff? Maine. Maine. What do you say, Mary Grace? I chose Maine. Maine. The answer we're looking for is Maine. Nice job, Jeff and Mary Grace. Okay, nice job, Rachel. You still have 50, but Jeff and Mary Grace, you go up to 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Rachel, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I hear you're a singer. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like to sing, and I enjoy listening to practically everyone. And, and, and about the television show. Tell me about that. Um, well, my parents usually don't let us watch television, but since they heard I was coming on Carmen San Diego, they hooked it up just for that. And a fine choice it was. Very good. Uh, Jeff, tell me about yourself. Uh, well, I like to uh, do a lot of things in my spare time. I usually play sports. Right now, I'm mm -hmm. playing baseball and soccer. Great. Nice to have you on the case. And Mary Grace, you have a very interesting hobby. Tell me about it. Well, I'm a polka dancer for the Staten Island Jubilee Dancers, and we travel around the tri-state area, and we've been to Chicago last year. Wonderful. For Listen, fun. you guys, it's great to have you on the case. You all sound like you're going to have a great time. Enjoy yourself. Relax. Please welcome them all to the case. If you would, please. All right.
right, look, we got off to a good start now. For our next clue, we turn to Robert Urich, an informant for Acme Bangham Batnet. Robert, what is the latest? Greg, hmm? my sources have tracked Patty to a Mideast nation ruled by religious leaders. She was seen jumping over small bonfires. That's a traditional part of festivities there on the last Wednesday before the new year. As people jump over the flames, they ask that the flames take away the misfortunes of the old year and bring brightness and health to the new. Not Patty. She asked for straight A's and a lot of money. Mm, sounds like her. Thanks a lot, Robert. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Israel, Iran, or Saudi Arabia? Remember the clues that we heard? Mideast nation ruled by religious leaders. Bonfires are part of the festival held before the new year. Jeff and Mary Grace still waiting for There we go. Rachel, you'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Israel. Israel, what do you think, Jeff? I chose Israel, too. Israel, Mary Grace? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. The answer we're looking for is Iran. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Nobody got anywhere on that. So, Rachel, you stay at 50. Jeff and Mary Grace still at 60. Now, we've just received a tip that Patty is in Myanmar. So, that means... That... All right, so you guys know what that means. That means it's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions have to do with Patty's most recent known whereabouts, which is Myanmar. Each one is worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Listen carefully. Here we go. Both men and women in Myanmar wear an article of clothing known as the longi. Is that a long skirt, a, a short vest, or a tall hat? Jeff. Short skirt, long skirt. A long skirt is right. Nice job. Five for you. Question two. The northern part of Myanmar was once part of the great Mongol Empire. It was conquered back in 1287 by the grandson of the great warrior Genghis Khan. Kublai Khan. I'm sorry, Jeff? Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan is right. Nice job. <laughs> You know your stuff. All right, question three. Look at these, if you will, please. Can you get a sight of those? Now, these symbols come from Myanmar. Are they traffic symbols, numbers, or the alphabet? Jeff. Numbers. Numbers is right. Nice job. Wow, you knew your stuff on that, Jeff. Okay, so that means at the end of the lightning round, Rachel's still at 50. Jeff has moved ahead now to 75 crime bucks. Mary Grace still in their second place with 60 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. For our next clue, we now turn Greg, to... get in here. Yes, ma'am, I'll be right there. Sorry. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to check with her. Just stay here. Uh, looks like I might be serious. Greg, I'm not even going to ask how it's going because I know it's going nowhere. Every day, it's the same thing. Excuses. Excuses. Gee, she's in a terrible mood today. And she's taking it out on me. That's not very fair. If I was chief, things would be different around here. You called, Chief? Yeah, uh, I was just wondering, uh, how's it going out there? Oh, well, to be honest, it's uh, not going very... Oh, it's bad, huh? Yeah. Not too good. How about a lifesaver? Go ahead. Oh. Make you feel better. Thank you, They really Chief. do make you feel better. Thank you. We're working very hard. We really are. But it's really hard to catch Carmen. I know. It is tough. It is... You know what? Just, why don't you have a seat? Just sit down there, take a load off. Huh? Thank you, Chief. Yeah, go oh. ahead. Have a seat. Tell you what, I'll give you a little back rub. Take out some of that tension, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Chief. That, oh, huh? that feels great. Oh, you're welcome. You know, gosh, you know, you work so hard, I think you deserve a vacation. How about that? <laughs> Just like the, car the uh, gumshoe captures Carmen San Diego today, I'll give you a trip anywhere in North America. <laughs> Chief, you're too generous. That's a wonderful gesture on your part. I mean... <laughs> I can't thank you enough. You, you've always been so good to me, so good to me, so good to me. So excuses, 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 excuses. And Greg, stop daydreaming and get out there and get to work. Right, Chief. And Greg, yes, take off that wig. Right, right, Chief. Sorry. <clears throat> <coughs> okay, Gumshoes, remember, we're still looking for Patty and the lipstick sculpture. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just received this uh, phone conversation between Patty and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Patty, head for a country on the island of Borneo with a small population but lots of money from oil and natural gas. Its sultan may be the world's richest man. Wow! Isn't he the guy with polo ponies that live in air-conditioned stables? That's right, Patty. And the Sultan can sure throw a party. He spent about a half a million dollars on a birthday bash for his young daughter. Gee, Carmen, my birthday's coming up in a few months. I'll send you a card. Now get going. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Indonesia, 
Brunei, or Philippines. Remember the clues that we heard? Countries on the island of Borneo, money from oil and natural gas. Everybody's ready? Rachel, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Indonesia. Indonesia. Jeff? I chose Philippines. Philippines. Mary Grace? I chose Brunei. Brunei. The answer we're looking for is Brunei. Nice job, Mary Grace. Okay, so that means, Rachel, you're still at 50, but we have a lot of game yet to go. Jeff's at 75 and Mary Grace at 70. Nice job, guys. For our next clue, we turn... Check the Black Rock Desert. Oh, yeah. Ask the lizards and the vultures. Lizards and vultures. If they've seen that petty crook. With the lipstick sculpture. Lipstick sculpture. Carson City, it's the state capital, that's the place where if you said your trapital snag her, snag her, bag her, well we're gonna snag her, for the patty, ooh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, yeah, oh yeah. Okay guys, name the state, if you will please, is it Utah? Nevada or California? Remember the clues that we heard? Black Rock Desert. Carson City is the state capital. Everybody's ready. Must know this one. Rachel, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Nevada. Nevada. What do you think, Jeff? I chose Nevada. Also. Nevada. Mary Grace? Nevada. Nevada. The answer we're looking for is Nevada. Yeah. All right. So, Rachel, you're on the board now with 60 crime bucks. Jeff has 85. Mary Grace, 80. Now, we have just her heard that Patty Larceny has left Nevada. So, it's time that we pick up the chase. The chase. <laughs> I have nothing to say. Okay, all these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the screen, listen carefully, and here we go. Patty smudged the lipstick in the capital of Honduras. Name it. Jeff? Quito. Sorry, it's Tegucigalpa. She lobbed the lipstick across the southern border of Honduras. What country is she in? Jeff? Nicaragua. Nicaragua's right. She piloted a plane to the, to, to the Panama Canal. What? Uh, Panama. Jeff? Panama's right. She took a freighter to Jamaica. What sea did she cross? Rachel. Caribbean. Caribbean's right. Patty hot-footed it to San Salvador. Name the country. Mexico. Mary Grace. Mexico. Sorry, it's El Salvador. That means at the end of the chase round, Rachel has 65, Jeff, ni Jeff 95, and Mary Grace 80. Nice job, guys. Okay. This is now the part of the chase where everything can change because now it's the final clue of the round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think Patty is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, once you have those risks, lay them down right there in front of you. Rachel, you have it, right? Jeff and Mary Grace. Okay, very good. Now, for the final clue of this round, we turn to a gal who teaches Michael Jackson's all Michael Jackson all his moves. Manorap. Thanks, Sammy. Drop science, Mr. DJ. I got the word on Patty. Gotta check out my story. She's in a U.S. Commonwealth territory. The Taino people were its natives of old. They were conquered by Spaniards who wanted their gold. Then the United States won a war against Spain and was given this island as part of its game. Someday it might be a nation or the 51st state. It's up to people who live there to vote on their fate. You got the Nana. Nana. Ah, 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 Nana. Nana. Wee. <laughs> Nana. Nana. Nana rap, ladies and gentlemen. Here she is. Oh. My absolute favorite. Okay. If you will, please now name the Commonwealth. Is it Puerto Rico? Grenada or Bermuda. Remember the clues that we heard? U.S. Commonwealth, native Taino people, and island given to the U.S. after a war with Spain. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Oh, God. Okay. I'm all right. Jeff and Mary Grace, you ready? Once you have the answers, Rachel, yes, lay them right down there. Yes, lay the answers down there. Very good. Uh, Rachel, we're going to start with you. You have 65 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is right. Nice job. You're back in this thing. 95 crime bucks. Mary Grace, you have 80 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 20. 20 crime bucks. Did you have the right answer, Mary Grace? Said Puerto Rico. Nice job. 
Takes you up to 100 crime bucks. Jeff, you've been leading this thing. Right, and 10. 10. Would you like to tell me your answer? I said Bermuda. Bermuda. Okay, you're going to go down 10. That means you'll go down to uh, 85, which means Rachel and Mary Grace are going on to the next round. Congratulations. <laughs> wow, Jeff. It's funny how that works sometimes. That's why the risk round is so important sometimes. But listen, you were a great detective. You led this thing the whole way. Uh, we've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official common watch, a common t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for reference when you're pounding the pavement, this handy world globe. Hey, 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 I think somebody moved that on her. That, the, usually the basket is there. That shouldn't happen. Chief, I'll check on that. Okay, guys, now it's time for you to go to Puerto Rico where you're going to try to track down Patty Larceny and the lipstick sculpture. But uh, what you have to do is find them and bring them back. But as you know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> the folks down at Acme Puerto Rican have put together a few slides of San Juan. Have a look. San Juan capital of the American territory of Puerto Rico, an island in the Caribbean Sea, a city that's jumping with great music, great dance, and great hats. Fort San Cristobal, do a thorough check from its intricate network of tunnels to the top of its ramparts. Now, if you come across a cannon that looks more like a cosmetic, that's probably the piece Patty pilfered. Pigeon Park, named for the thousands of pigeons that live in the chinks of its walls. Now, every day, kids come from all over the city to feed the birds, and they eat right out of their hands. And speaking of birds, check in with these Acme Parrot Net agents. Their password, Polywana Sculpture, traditional Vigante masks. Now, supposedly, their original purpose was to scare sinners back to the faith. Stealing a statue is definitely a sin, so maybe they'll frighten Miss Larceny. Condado Beach, known for its wild nightlife. Look for Patty trying to rob rich carousers. Now, shoot straight to Puerto Rico gumshoes and stop that statue stealer. Patty Larceny and the lipstick statue are in San Juan. Go get them! Okay, gumshoes, here we are in Puerto Rico. Set your stuff down right here. Take a walk right over there, if you will, please, ladies. Let me show you what we have. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Patty, the lipstick sculpture, and a warrant for Patty's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so that you can get a warrant. With a warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn. Okay? Mary Grace, you were ahead at the end of the last round. You go first. Fort San Cristobal. Uh, Fort San Cristobal. Okay, nothing there. Rachel. Um, Cato Ray. Which one? Cato Ray. Uh, oh, Otto Ray. Okay. Very good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Mary Grace, go ahead. Nothing there. El Moro. El Moro. Nope, sorry. Nothing there. Rachel. San Jose Church. San Jose Church. Nope, nothing there. Mary Grace. Casablanca. Casablanca. Nope, nothing there. Rachel. Folks Arts Center? Folk Arts Center. Folk Arts Center, no. Sorry, nothing there. Mary Grace. La Fortaleza? Mm, La Fortaleza. Nope, nothing there. Rachel. Dominican Convent? Dominican Convent. No, sorry. Mary Grace. El Caldia? El Caldia. Stolen stick statue. Nice job. You got the loot. You're on the right track. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Catano Ferry. Catano Ferry. Nope, nothing there. Okay, nice job, though. You found the loot. R Rachel, your turn. Alcadala. Uh, Alcadilla. Pumper, <laughs> pumper, um, paint. Okay, you got the loot. Free turn. Go um, ahead. Pigeon Park. Pigeon Park. The, the, the patty. Okay, interesting now. You got the loot, you also have patty, but you have to go in the right order. So remember, use some strategy here. You have to go loot, warrant, crook. Go ahead, Rachel. Casablanca. Casablanca. Nothing there. Nice strategy. Mary Grace, go ahead. Alcaldia. Alcaldia. Smear. Got the loot. New, your turn. Go ahead. Tapia Theater. Tapia Theater. Nothing there. Okay. Rachel, your turn. Go ahead. Alcaldia. Alcaldia. Um, Burgle Bus Ball. Go ahead, Rachel. University of Puerto Rico. University of Puerto Rico. The warrant. Oh, you got the loot. You and got the warrant. Do you remember where Patty is? Pigeon Park. Pigeon Park. Is he still there? 
Oh, yeah! Come here, Rachel. I think that, that sounded like it surprised you. Did it surprise you? Oh, you did a nice job. Now, look, you got Patty. All you have to do now is put her in jail, throw her in the chain, do it. Jail. Sometimes that happens. You surprise yourself with that. But now you have some more adventures coming up. We're going to talk about that in just a little bit. First off, Mary Grace, listen, you were a great detective. You tracked Patty all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief, a gumshoe needs to be in touch with the whole world. And that's why I'm giving you this world band radio. So you can tune into broadcasts from all around the globe. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. Okay, surprised Rachel is here with us. Now it's time for you to go on and see if you can catch Carmen San Diego. But before we do that, we're going to see where you'd like to go if you catch her. So open this up, piece of paper and pen inside, and do it. Just a little reminder for those of you at home, come prepared to this show. That way you can just write it out and you're ready to go. Right? Okay, now, we have to find out, though, where Carmen San Diego is, and usually we get a call right over here about, about this time. You just hold this for me. Let me find out who this is, and uh, we'll just find out. Hello? Yes? Happens to be standing right next to me. Hold on. It's for you. Hello? This gal is so neat. All the colors match. Gray, gray, and gray. I want Carmen to enjoy it, too. Look for her in Africa. What'd she say, Thank Rachel? You. <laughs> Thank you very much. What'd she say, Rachel? Um, she said, look, look for Carmen in Africa. Okay, so that means Rachel and I, we are going to Africa. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Morocco. Senegal. Mauritania. Burkina Faso. Chad. Egypt. Ghana. Ethiopia. Kenya. Angola. Zaire. Zimbabwe, South Africa. Great. Let's go to the map. Okay. You know what this is, right? That's right. This is Africa. Very good. And this part of the game now is what it's all about. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each with a marker. When you are right, you will hear the sound. If by chance, though, you are wrong, you will hear this sound. If you're wrong two times, this is the important part, wrong two times, leave the mark where it is, come on back, and we will continue. But if you are right eight times in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. Will that be all right with you? Yeah, it's great. Oh, wonderful, yeah. What, is it okay with you guys? Yeah. All right, come on, Rachel, let's do this thing. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock, please. Got all your buddies here cheering you on. Everything's going to be just fine. Good luck, relax, here we go. On your mark, get set. Go. Come on with the Zaire. Zaire. Cheer on, guys. Come on. You got it. Come on. Senegal. 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 Oh, Rachel, do it. Now, come on. That's not it. Try it again. Try it again. Senegal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Do it. Do it. Do it. You got it. South Africa. South Africa. Oh, my goodness. You got three. Yeah, four. Morocco. Morocco. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, yeah! Ghana, Ghana, turn on to Ghana. Do it, come on, Rachel. Yeah, yeah. Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Come on, do it, Zimbabwe. Oh, no, Zimbabwe. You got it, come on, come on. Kenya, Kenya. You got how many? You got seven in 45 seconds. Give her the biggest round of applause you can think of. Oh, man. Oh, man. You cannot get any closer than that. You were nailed. You knew this thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. Let me tell you, you got seven in 45 seconds. In addition to that, you got the crook. You got Patty. You got the loot. That's not bad. Chief, what do you say? We're all proud of the work you did throughout the day. And for your good work, I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Okay, buddy. In addition to being a sleuth, uh, you are now are going to be able to wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. Sound okay to you? Great. Okay, put that thing on. What do you guys think of that? And there's more since you got seven. Out of eight. Stick your hand right in this pocket, I think it is. There should be something right inside here. You're going to get, in addition to the coat, also this cool camera. What do you think of that? It's great. Not bad, buddy. There's your camera there. Look, you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do, and that's all. You know what it is? Hit it! 
Watch out, cooks. Watch out, mobsters. We will trap you just like lobsters.